All right, coding fans, here we are at Setting the Right Portal, our third lesson in our types unit uh, or module. So we're going to take a look at this one. Um, I'm still going to just be moving forward and turning around. Just we're going to use the portals uh, to navigate around our set. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type a function in. Uh, for moving and collecting, so I'm gonna call it move and collect. All right, and what we want our character to do is while the character hopper is not blocked. So until they get to the end, move forward. And then if we're on a gym, we're going to collect the gem. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and run the function just to make sure it works the way I want it to work before I start doing anything else. So I'm gonna run the function, move and collect, uh, and let's just get this thing rolling. All right, so we're gonna see what's happening here. We go through that portal, okay, Good, that one works. So it does what I want it to. And what I'm gonna do here, this is my while is not blocked loop. Um, outside of this, because I don't want to solve a function inside of a function, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have the person, have a hopper turn around as well. So we're gonna go turn right, turn right, or turn left, turn left, um, whichever one you want to do to get it to go. All right, so, Taking a look at that hopper after we run this again will be where he is now, just turned around. So I'm gonna turn off the blue portal here. Uh, we're just gonna go with our straight dot notation, um, go straight forward in this one, no creative um, if statements and stuff like that. So we're gonna say the blue portal is off, okay? And uh, then we're gonna move and collect again. Right here, move and collect. Okay, and we're gonna run this and see where we end up. Um, and I like running these uh, often. Uh, that way, I don't. I can catch my mistakes earlier. Because if you remember, coding is twenty percent coding and eighty percent fixing it. So we're going through. We reach the end here and we turn around. Cool. Now we gotta kind of figure out what's up. We're all done with the blue portal, but we still have to go through it once more. So I'm looking that if he moves forward, he'll move forward to go through the blue portal and then into the pink portal, which is fine to catch that gem right there in the middle. So let's go ahead and turn our blue portal on again. Um, I'm gonna copy and paste this. All right, copy and paste. And then I'm gonna click false and in that black pop-up menu, I'm gonna say true and that will turn this on again. And I'm gonna run that same function, move and collect. Uh, and this should allow our character to pick up that middle one. Uh, we're gonna roll through a little bit faster since we know this already works. Go this way, it's off, pops back on again, goes into the pink portal. All right, cool, we're good to go. Uh, we don't need to turn anything off again Let's see, if we go through there, we'll go back into the blue portal. So I'm gonna turn the blue portal back off now. And we'll go, uh, I'll paste it again. So now it's back off, we're gonna keep the pink portal on because we wanna go through it. Um, actually, I don't need to do that now that I think about that. All right. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna move forward one and turn around. So move forward and then turn right, turn right, or turn left, turn left. And then I can move and collect again to get that other one. Because what's gonna happen is, is Hopper is gonna step onto the portal, turn around, and then just go get that other one. And this should do it. Um, not as creative as the last one we did. Um, there are ways other ways to do this, um, but 
this seems to work out pretty well. So great use of our while loop inside of a function um, and great use of using the function and activating and deactivating a portal. All right, see you on the next one.